despite all that uh, wet and dull conditions that we've had in the UK over the last few weeks, it turns out, apparently, believe it or not, that it was also the warmest May and spring since records began back in 1884. How has that happened, you may ask? Well, earlier, the BBC's uh, weather presenter Ben Rich gave us some clarity on what appear to be record-breaking temperatures. Yes, it has been the warmest spring on record, the warmest May on record. It's also been the sixth wettest spring on record. So how has all that happened? Well, a few different things. One thing about May particularly is that we've had some very high temperatures in the north of the UK. So temperatures in Scotland have been well above the previous records. So obviously, we take an average across the UK. Temperatures in one part of the UK will push that whole average upwards. But the other big thing that we've seen this spring, and this has been a feature right across the spring really, is some really warm nights. We haven't had many cold nights. Spring is a transition season. It's the transition from winter towards summer. It is not summer yet, of course. We still get some cold nights in spring. We haven't seen many of those. Now, one thing you've asked me, one thing that a lot of people have been asking is, how has it been so warm in spite of all that cloud and rain? Well, actually, warm nights are partly because of all that cloud and rain. Cloudy weather at night keeps the temperatures up. The cloud acts a bit like a blanket. So partly because of all that cloud, we've had some really warm nights pushing those averages up overall. And is it fair to say that climate change means we're going to see more rain and more unusual temperatures? The two go sort of hand in hand. They really do. So, so we will continue in a warming climate to see weather extremes of both cold weather and warm weather. But what we're seeing is fewer cold weather extremes and more and more warm weather extremes. So just digging back through these statistics, eight of the 10 warmest springs on record have happened since the year 2000. So oh. the top 10, eight in this century, whereas just one of the 10 coldest springs has happened in this century. So we're seeing more warm weather extremes than cold weather extremes. And as you say, rain is something we expect more of because of climate change. The warmer the air is, the more moisture it is able to hold. It's a bit like having a sponge full of moisture. The more moisture in the sponge, the more you can wring out in the form of heavy rain. So yes, we do expect things overall to keep getting warmer and wetter.